Something that I've struggled with before and I know I'm not alone is getting your kids to eat dubia roaches. Sometimes they'll eat all these other types of bugs, like tree bugs, everything else, but they won't eat the roaches that are like healthy and nutritional and very easy to care for. And you're like, ah, why won't they just eat the roaches? So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my experience and tips and tricks I've learned over the years to help get your kids to eat some dubia roaches. So without further ado, let's get into the video. In case you didn't know, doobie roaches are actually illegal in Florida and Canada, if that's somewhere that you live. There are plenty of other roach species that you can feed to your community, so don't feel limited to just doobie roaches, but they are super, super common in the reptile hobby and very common to feed to your community because they are very nutritional. They're not super smelly, they can't jump away the same way that crickets can. They have a long shelf life. Um, they're not noisy, so they're actually really, really awesome to feed to your chameleon and one of my personal favorites to feed to my chameleons, but sometimes the, your chameleon just doesn't want to eat them. They'll want to eat the crickets, they'll want to eat the wax worms, the super worms, all the yummy stuff, but they won't eat the roaches. So what I recommend doing is cup feeding. I wouldn't just toss roaches inside the enclosure. They tend to hide in the corners um, or underneath things. They're just trying to not get eaten, which is something we trying to not have happen. So what I do is I cup feed. Not only does this help keep track of how much your chameleon is eating or not eating, it ensures that your bugs are staying gut loaded, supplemented. There's just a lot of benefits to cup feed and I have made videos on that if you wanna check those out. But I will stick the roaches in there. A common mistake I see is people will stick like two or three roaches in there. That's it or just like maybe a few more. Just, just a handful is the point. And so the roaches will go and hide in the corners and just not really move. And the thing with chameleons is they're attracted to movement, which is why sometimes the crickets are more appealing or the wiggly worms are more appealing. That's, that's what their eyes are looking for is movement. So what I do is I will sometimes toss in extras just to get them to move around and bump into each other. Not necessarily saying that your chameleon's gonna eat all 15 or 20 that you throw in there into the cup but it'll create that movement and interest for your chameleon. Now, if that's not enough to get your chameleon interested, you may need to stop feeding them the treat bugs, things like superworms, waxworms, hornworms, things that are personal favorites because they're so yummy and high in fat for your chameleon, but that's not something that you can feed regularly. So it's kind of, I talked about this in my why is it my chameleon eating video. It's kind of like thinking about it as like, those treat bugs are like candy, ice cream, a Dairy Queen blizzard, whatever it is is your personal favorite. And then the roaches or crickets are like the broccoli, asparagus, Brussels sprouts. So if you're constantly offering things like superworms and treat bugs, then what's the likelihood that your chameleon's gonna selectively choose these more nutritional bugs? So Neptune in particular got hooked on superworms where he was just like exclusively eating superworms. If it wasn't a superworm, he wasn't eating. So then I was like, oh no, like I don't want to not eat but the thing is, chameleons are opportunistic feeders, which means in the wild that they see food, they eat food because they don't necessarily know when they're going to get their next meal. So they tend to overeat in captivity. So it's not a big deal for them to go a couple of days of not eating, as long as they're like a healthy weight and not sick, right? Assuming everything else is, is normal, not a big deal. And Neptune actually didn't eat for two weeks while I was trying to get him off of superworms and back onto more healthy bugs like dewy roaches. And so you just kind of have to wait them out. Be patient, give them time. And a hungry chameleon will not be picky. A full chameleon that's got a nice full belly can afford to be picky because they're not hungry. They're like, mm, nah, I'm gonna wait it out for that super worm or wax or whatever it is that they're wanting to eat instead. So give them time, obviously use your best judgment. I don't know your exact scenario. I can't see what your chameleon looks like. I can just speak from my experience. A healthy chameleon has no problem going a couple days, if not a couple weeks of not eating to try and get them over to those roaches. And if you can just not get your chameleon to switch over to dubia roaches, then you may need to consider other staple feeders. I'm a little iffy on like how I feel about the concept of staple feeders. I think you should really just be feeding your chameleon a variety of bugs. The more variety, the better. But if your chameleon is exclusively eating superworms, like try and 
insert other things like crickets, like silkworms, black soldier fly larvae, dubia roaches, other roach species. Those are all things that you can comfortably and confidently feed to your chameleon on a regular basis because of the nutritional value. And then try and wean them off on feeding, you know, regularly like mealworms, waxworms, superworms, hornworms. Those are definitely on the treat category. So if roaches are your chameleon thing, despite giving them time, more bugs, movement, all that good stuff, then just consider kind of adding in other variety, other staples that may be of interest to your chameleon. So there you guys have it. Those are some tips and tricks that I've learned over my experiences, but would love to hear from you guys. What has worked for getting your chameleon to eat? doobie roaches let me know down in the comments below otherwise feel free to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it feel free to subscribe so you know i post a new video and you can follow neptune and all my fans on social media at neptune the chameleon if you've made it this far i want to do a giveaway so i'm going to give away not ten dollars not twenty not thirty but fifty dollars in credit to dubia.com so that you guys can try out Doobie Roaches along with a bunch of other bugs. This is not sponsored. This is $50 of my own <laughs> that I'm giving to you guys as a thank you for supporting this channel and just, you know, helping you guys out. So in order to get entered into the giveaway, all you need to do is comment down below your chameleon's favorite bug. If you don't have a chameleon, comment down your other reptile's favorite bug. And if you don't have a chameleon or a reptile, I'm not really sure why you would want the gift card, but <laughs> feel free <laughs> to leave a comment about bugs down below and then give me some sort of way to contact you, whether that's your email or Instagram, so I can reach out and give that coupon code to you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.